Masinya Attorneys Incorporated, a boutique commercial and taxation law firm in Midrand, Johannesburg, South Africa. Strategic lawyers on point with more than 20 years of practice experience. We are professional, capable, and qualified. Hello everyone joining me. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you and I thank you for being here. I hope you're doing very well. Thank you and uh, hope you're having a wonderful day, a wonderful week so far. That is very important. So I really want to say thank you so much. How are you doing? Please make sure you use a comment section to make comments around our discussion or around anything that you feel you have in your heart that you want to share with us and encouragement. Uh, a different perspective, you want to say hi to some people, please go ahead and do that. We would really, really appreciate that. So I uh, want to encourage everyone who has not subscribed yet, please make sure you subscribe immediately. Uh, make sure you subscribe immediately. I'm waiting for you to do that. Uh, and uh, yeah, share the video and get uh, the video out there for people. Uh, thank you, Athena from Cabarone in Botswana. Great to have you here, Albirians. Great to have you here, Moses. Awesome to have you here from Zambia and from Uganda, Patra as usual, and uh, Ongani. You're always the first. You're the first out here today. Thank you so much. Great to have you here. Uh, so I want to talk about the shame of fornication. You know, fornication is basically, as we know. It's not something that God endorses. It's something that we're supposed to desist from as much as possible. I know a lot of us got involved in fornication uh, or are even still involved in fornication. Some of us before we got married. Yeah, you're imperfect and you're going to make mistakes. But then when you embrace the truth, obviously that needs to stop. And that's the victory. Victory is when you stop certain habit, sin that is destructive to you. And God is not happy about it. Destructive to you or even other people sometimes. That's very important, right? So fornication, you know, sex before marriage, it's something that we, uh, you know, we something that we, it, it's, it's something that as Christians, we are called to desist from, to stay away from. That is very, very important. to desist from, to stay away from. That's very, very important. So, and should we be ashamed of it? Yeah, shame. Shame doesn't mean that you're not walking in victory. I am ashamed of some of the things that I've done before. I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed that I actually got involved in fornication way before I got married. Even though I stopped fornication like almost 15 years before marriage, I was celibate for 15 years before I got married. You know, still, it's an action that I am ashamed of. But because you are ashamed of it, doesn't mean that you are not redeemed. Doesn't mean that that should hold you back. Doesn't mean that you should feel guilty. You know, you are ashamed of that action but you know that that action has no sort of like hold over you anymore. But there are people that for them it's okay for to be a Christian and be fornicating. Actually, there's nothing to be ashamed of. And that's where we are going to right now as a people, as a continent, as African people, where we are beginning to accept these values that are alien to our culture, that are alien to biblical principles, where it's okay, just sleep with different women. Today, they actually call it, they would, they would ask you, how many, what's your body count? Body count means how many people have you slept with in your life? And it's something that some people are actually proud of it. They might even be Christians. It's not only women or men, or is it not only women that are ashamed of how many people they slept with? Men, even though they come out and try to be proud about how many women they've slept with, they, they should also be ashamed of it. A shame brings correction. Shame brings redemption. So I'm going to share with you a video 
of this young lady. She's 30, 32 years of age in Ghana, right? Uh, being interviewed on radio and she was asked, how many men have you been with? How many men have you slept with? And she said, over a hundred. And she's actually not ashamed of it. Here in Ghana, and she was confident, she's in public, and she's, she can put it out there. Simple. So let's watch the video together. Do you know the number of men you've gone out with? Um, when I sit down and count, uh, mm -hmm. I've done over a hundred. What we'll say? I've done over a hundred. You've slept with over a hundred men? Yeah. At age 32? Yeah. Ish. And it's not something that Bema any or by a thousand are that it's not shameful, so it shouldn't be shameful for me. Whoa. It's uh it was me like uh not me when uh, me were vision. I want to get married, I want to be in love. And do you still and want to get married? Try and error. Me, me, I'm not gonna meet him. Mm -hmm. I won't let a certain man break my heart, and I will give my power to love to him that. In my mind, now you're paying to me in the bema no, But no, 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 no. So do you, you still want to get no, married? No, yeah, I still want to get married and have kids if I'm supposed to be. Wow, what do you make of that? Sorry, guys, I had some uh, internet issues uh, just trying to sort it out. Anyway, so um, we've seen that, isn't it? Um, I hope you can hear me. Can you hear me? Please uh, let me know you can hear me. I'm back. Let me know if you can hear me. Once I see one person saying they can hear me, uh, I, would, uh, I would be on. Um, let me know you can hear me. Can you hear me, guys? Make sure you comment. Ah, yes. Thank you, Koliswa. 
All right, so let me play this video again uh, of this young lady who was slept with over a hundred people. And she said she's not really ashamed of it. For her, it's just trial and error. She wants to get married. Maybe her own way of getting married is sleep as most with most men as possible. If you're not okay with this, if you don't want to give the power to love somebody to this person, you just move on. Here. Number of men you've gone out with. Um, when I sit down and count, mm -hmm. I've done over a hundred. What say? I've done over a hundred. You've slept with over a hundred men. Yeah. At age thirty-two. Yeah. Ish. And it's not something that Bema any or by a thousand or that is not shameful. So it shouldn't be shameful for me. Whoa. It's uh it was me like uh not me when uh, me were vision. I want to get married, I want to be in love. And do you still and want to get married? Try and error. Me, me, I'm not gonna meet him. I won't let a certain man break my heart and I will give my power to love to him that a man my nigh pain to me in the bema no, but no, 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 no. You, you, you still want to get no, married yeah i still want to get married and have kids if i'm supposed to be mm. she wants to get married and have kids right so the way to look for a husband is technically from her perspective is sleep as much men, with much men as possible with as much men as possible sleep with this one if you're not okay if you think they don't love you enough if you think they don't reciprocate uh reciprocate reciprocate the love that you give them move on to another after the one is like 10 is 20 and now you're over 100 already and you still want to get married it seems there is a disconnection between understanding that sex is a very spiritual act and that in itself can hold you can bound you can keep you in a place you would have a lot of implications spiritually when you get married. You're a broken woman. It would take God to rehabilitate and redeem you. You know, the Bible is very clear about when it comes to uh, fornication. It says in 1 Corinthians 7, 2, but since sexual immorality is occurring, each man should have sexual relations with his own wife and each woman with her own husband. Meaning, if you are not married, if you're unmarried, chance you're going to have an opportunity to get involved in sexual immorality. A lot of people are. The best place to have sex, which is, which is moral, moral sex, sexual morality is in marriage. Sexual immorality is outside of marriage. Maybe some of the men she has slept with are married men. I would love to know that. Not just single men that she's looking to get married to. Uh, okay, let's give her a benefit of a doubt. Maybe she's not even a Christian. But how should we as Christians see this? Should we just embrace this and say, no, it's her life anyway. She could do whatever she want to do. Or you have some sort of a, the same history with her. You slept with so many men, you're ashamed of it. Don't be ashamed. Go to God to help you. Or maybe you're struggling right now. You're sleeping with so many men or you're sleeping with so many women. Currently sleeping with so many women. It's time to stop. God wants to help you. And he's always there. It's always there to say, look, stretch your hands. Let me help you. Let me help you overcome. Only him can give us the power to overcome. We all have a story. We all have a history. But he's ready to be there to deliver us and to help us. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again right at my bed.